want a roof, I'll give you. You want food every day, I'll give you. All you have to do is just sit in one place and be blissful. I will feed you for the rest of your life. Can you do? No, you want to mess up something every day <laughs> People say they're only working for a living. I say, don't worry, I'll give you shelter, I'll give you food every day, no problem. All you have to do is, I want to see tears of blissfulness every day. That's all the requirement. You don't have to do any work, you don't have to serve me, you don't have to produce anything, nothing. Just sit here blissfully, we'll feed you, we'll worship you. <laughs> no. So the problem is not in your work, the problem is not in your life, the problem is not in the world that you live, the problem is just that you have not done the necessary things for this one to flow through this effortlessly, beautifully. The necessary work has not been done and we are just hoping it will happen by accident. It doesn't happen by accident. <laughs> Lot of people in the world think United States of America is heaven. But people who th live here don't think so at all. Isn't it so? Isn't it? Lot of people in the world are dying to get an entry into the country. If you open up the southern borders, ten million people will enter tomorrow morning because they think this is heaven. But you are not experiencing it that way, isn't it? You are not experiencing this as heaven because hell and heaven is not a geographical place. Hell and heaven is what you make out of yourself, isn't it? Too much talk about heaven has been going on because there are too many people who made a hell out of themselves. If you had made a heaven out of yourself, would you talk about going to heaven? If you sit here and you're feeling ecstatic right now, would you aspire to go to heaven, I'm asking? Once it happened, early twentieth century, Ah, oh. an orthodox Greek church, a bishop from that church. You know, orthodox Greeks have their own separate church, they have their own pope who lives in Turkey, you know this? So a bishop from this order had heard so much about Indian mysticism and he wanted to go to India, but he never got around to make it because uh, he had to serve the cloth that he wore and after sixty years of age when he is semi-retired, he got the opportunity and went to India. So he came to South India near where we are and uh, he wanted to meet a mystic, a yogi. So somebody said, uh, go up this mountain near a cave, there is a, a yogi sitting, you can go. So our man went, plodded up the mountain halfway, up and went. In front of a cave, an old man with a gentle smile upon his face was just sitting with his eyes closed. <coughs> so the bishop went and prostrated. He cannot do it, he is not made for that. But they had told him, if you go to India, you have to crawl. He prostrated like this and with all his four limbs he got up. The yogi looked at him with amusement. Obviously he has never prostrated anywhere before <laughs> And uh, he smiled. Then the bishop said, I am like this, I am a bishop. I have served in the church for so long, but uh, I have a few questions, can you answer? The yogi smiled and said, yes, please, whatever the question. Then the bishop asked, what is life at the age of sixty? What is life? So the yogi closed his eyes 
they came very blissful and sad. Life is like the fragrance of a jasmine on the spring breeze and tears of blissfulness flowed out of his eyes as he was saying this. <coughs> then the bishop said, no, 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 our pope has told us life is like a thorn and we must renounce it. And even symbolically, Jesus himself wore a crown of thorns, so how come you say this? Our pope says otherwise. The yogi looked at him, smiled and said, well, that's his life. <laughs> so, what you make out of it is not because of where you are, what you are, it is just what you make out of it, isn't it? Yes. So, have you created the necessary mechanism? Have you created the necessary system? Have you created the necessary in ingredients within you to make this like the fragrance of jasmine on a spring breeze and not a thorn? If it's a thorn, we must pluck the damn thing out, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so?